Yeah, Jacqueline and Tracy, Mark Dial left the courtroom here in the custody of law enforcement, and he will remain in custody. As you said, no bail while he awaits trial. There was no new evidence today, but a different judge heard arguments from the defense and prosecution, and in the end, sided with the district attorney's office. Just thank you for just being there. It has meant a lot. Our family is very grateful and thankful. With words of gratitude, the family of 27-year-old Eddie Irizarry reflected on a judge's decision Wednesday to reinstate first-degree murder and related charges against former Philadelphia police officer Mark Dial. While on duty, Dial shot and killed Irizarry in August. This is only the beginning still. We still have a long, long road ahead of us, and we are aware of that. Um, but with prayers and and just sticking together as a family. We can't wait to go to trial. Facts here are undeniable. Uh, Mark Dial did not commit a crime. Dial's defense team expressed disappointment. Last month at the preliminary hearing where police body-worn camera footage and other evidence was presented, another judge dropped all charges, agreeing with the defense that Dial had a reasonable belief his life was in danger. Dial's partner testified they followed and pulled over Irizarry because he was driving erratically. The partner also said he saw this knife shown in court last month in Irizarry's raised hand and shouted to Dial that Irizarry had a knife. The defense argued he said gun. But today, a different judge agreed with the prosecution that there are sufficient questions of fact about what truly happened, what was or was not said, and what Mark Dial heard and believed that a jury must determine. The defense is now advocating for a change of venue. So you plan to file a motion to move this trial out of Philadelphia County? Absolutely. I mean, you've seen what happened after the first preliminary hearing. They vilified our judge. Um, city council got involved. The mayor got involved. Uh, it puts too much pressure, I think, on everybody in this system. So we want to try and get this case moved to a place where Mark could get a fair trial. This area is under live surveillance. Now, after some of the initial hearings related to this case, the district attorney's office did have prosecutors talk to us on camera, but late today they said that they will not be commenting any further until they are back in court with the defendant. Reporting live from outside of the Criminal Justice Center, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC10 News. All right, Rosemary, thank you for that. And you can download the free NBC10 app to stay on top of any new developments on the story and have alerts for all of our breaking coverage sent right to your phone.